Hello and welcome to AF Sport on African Yato Vision, bringing you sport update and analysis. I'm Abdullah Salaudin, and joining me today is a sport fanatic, Chimela Wanko. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, I'm happy to be here again, once again. Um, let's start by analyzing and bringing people updates about, bringing our listeners updates about the previous Premier, Premier League games that went during the week. Let's start with Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace as a whole, they have been drawing with, um, with a number of teams right now. They only won at Aston Villa. What can you say about Crystal Palace as a whole? Uh, I actually don't know what's wrong. Crystal Palace this season, uh, you know, the, the performance is, is not, it's not nice. Uh, they actually be having a lot of uh, you know, ups and downs. You know, you can see to their matches, you know, winning uh, Aston Villa, taking a draw from, uh, you know, winning Aston Villa, taking a draw, losing against Arsenal and uh, Man City. So uh, they've been ups and down in the club. And uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, they have a wonderful game. They, they play very well, you know, they give their best. But, you know, before the, the match goes on or before the full time, you see them, you know, going behind or conceiving or losing the match. So uh, I, I, I think, I think uh, they, they, they need to work on themselves, you know. Uh, the players are amazing. They have amazing players like Eze, Zaha and so on. So uh, I, I think uh, there's a pieces that they need to put together to achieve the goal, which is winning. And you know you can see Zaha is doing very well, performing very well. You can see this is kind of uh, becoming his best uh, season uh, we have seen in a while, and he's scoring goals on almost all the matches he's played. So um, yeah, we need to fix things. We have to. Uh, they have to fix things. Uh, the coach needs to go back and fix things, and and so that the, the team can finally win. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Man City and Arsenal. What are you seeing? At the start of 2020, 2023 um, Premier League. Uh, no, 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 not like that. Like you can just break down uh, the Crystal Palace on the before. Oh, okay. Jump in. What should I? What should I talk about in Crystal Palace? You can see. Are they? Are they? Is there any hopeful result? Uh, are they writing their result will come in and that's why we go. Because you just break. You just start immediately. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Talking about Zaha. You said he's performing very well. He's doing great in this Premier League. Do you see him doing this? You know, doing this continuously for him, for them to win mm. or for them to perform very well in the Premier League? Yeah, I, th I think he's a main man. You know, he's doing very well, very very well, scoring goals. His movement, his passes, his contribution to the team since he came in has been um, marvelous and and unbelievable. And I I, I and I'm seeing him bringing the team you know, to where they're supposed to be, which is winning. So they need to work, uh, you know, you know it's, football is not just an individual stuff. It has to be uh, a group. They are a team, so they have to work together as a team. So I, I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Kisabala coming to the right track, and I'm seeing Zaha doing very wonderful well in this season because he's showing the great qualities. And uh, yeah, but uh, as I said, uh, the manager have to go back and uh, restructure, Fix things that are not uh, in place. If it's the defense, find something to do because the tactics you can't keep on using the same tactics uh, every time and keep on having uh, not a good result. So uh, they have to restructure themselves and get back to winning ways. Yeah. Okay. The manager should go back and restructure. Their yeah, form. they have to be a structure. Yeah, to uh, send them back to winning matches because uh, they need to win matches and it's very important for them to stay in the Premier League this season. Talking about winning and performing very well in matches, in matches during this Premier League 2023, 2022-2023, mm -hmm. what can you say about Man City and Arsenal? Arsenal is top in the table right now yeah, at the start yeah. of the matches. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have not lost any games. Yes. What can you say is going on? Man City, Arsenal, yeah, I, I think I think Man, I think Man City has seen some of that. You know, if you see the last couple of years, Man City have been the people that have been showing this kind of greatness to us. You yeah, know, sure. performing very well, staying at the top of the table for a long time. You know, so uh, now you see uh, Arsenal coming into the season 
doing something Man City have been competing doing with before. Competing City. Yeah, it's more about looking like... It's not that the other team are not competing, but uh, we're trying to say that... I'm trying to say that this is what Man City usually do when it comes to the season. They, mm -hmm. they find a way to maintain their winning ways for a long time. You know, but Arsenal have come now to to let us know that they can do the same. Is that a challenge? Yeah, I, th I think it's a very big challenge. For um, Man City? Yeah. Um, and other clubs? And other clubs, because... Arsenal is is working is is doing so much good, and every 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 fan will love to see their club doing something like that. You know, okay. they're performing well, they're playing well. They they're not you know losing the guard. They're making sure that every match they play with any club, they find a way to take a win from them, and that is how it sh it should be. You know, going to the match with a, a high um, morale, a high spirit that you're gonna win. And it's, it's, it's a spirit, it moves, you know, it moves and it's moving with them. I, I love the performance and I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see this season, uh, uh, it's gonna be very, uh, very, very difficult for some clubs that have been doing so well for the past, the last season, like the likes of Chelsea and, and so on. So uh, Arsenal are coming in to fill the gap now, um, bringing in top players and also challenging Man City of what they do uh, previously. Uh, is 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 what Premier League is all about, and I'm, I'm very very happy to see something like this come into play. Uh, yeah, we have seen a lot of players, great players in Man City, mm -hmm. the likes of um, Alan. Yeah, he scored his his first hat trick of the Premier League of the 2022-2023 Premier League. Yeah, um, last week of mm -hmm. just this of uh, the last match. Yeah, what can you say about the guy? Do you see the guy going? Like being the being the Premier League legend or winning the Golden Boots, mm -hmm. what can you say? Uh, you know, I love I love the way he started. Started very beautiful. Started very 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 uh, motivating, and that is what we want to see in clubs, uh, in teams, or in players that okay. come into the Premier League. And you know, him scoring now is not in nine goals. This is nine goal as nine a goals. year. In the uh, League, just in, in five games, in, in, yeah, in Premier League, and just in five games, and that is beautiful and uh, amazing for a player of his standard because he have the qualities, he have what it takes to score goals, and that showing that kind of level to to the Premier League or to the team that that is why he was signed, you know. So uh, I, uh, I'm I'm gonna say the Golden Boots, yeah, I would definitely say he's gonna contest for the Golden Boots. Of course, he will becoming a legend. Uh, yes. You know, it, it doesn't. It it takes uh, becoming a legend is uh, when you perform very well into the Premier League and uh, in the lives of other uh, uh, stars like Drogba, Lampard, Gerrard, and so on. These are big people that have you know done you know deliver the club from when they didn't do the most. So that what makes you a legend. So I uh, I'm seeing him building his career here in Premier League, and I'm 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 wishing the best for him. And, and his teammates. Within the Golden Boots, do you think other players can also challenge him or compete with him yeah. winning the Golden Boots? Yeah, of course. Uh, as I said, he's going to contest. Who do you, who do you see winning the Golden Boots, except are, from him? There are, the, lot of, the lot of players that are coming in. You know, you, you can see uh, we have a lot of uh, good uh, qualified people that are scorers that in the team right now. and. In the club right now, or in, in the Premier League, like you can, I know Ronaldo have not scored a goal, but we're gonna see him score goals. Of course, he we're gonna see him. Salah, Salah is still in the team. Uh, Mitrovic is the next person. Um, to, yeah, to in, Alan. yeah, in the line, and the, a lot of them, Sterling, and, Mitrovic, and Kane. a lot, yeah, Harry Kane, and I'm so all of them. So they're gonna come in. I, I'm, I'm hoping to see them step in. You know, but. Uh, you know, but right now we, we let's let's talk about the person that is in the front, and which is Haaland of nine goals in five matches, and which is very very amazing from him. And yeah, and he, he he's doing he's doing what what he was signed for to score goals, and that is what uh, he's performing, and that is amazing. So I'm 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 looking forward um, to see him you know move beyond what what he actually doing now. What do you think is wrong with Everton, Frank, um, Frank Lampard, Everton? Hmm. Their last match with Leeds is so um, it's kind of poor. Yeah, that, that, that is very confusing and very uh, disturbing. I don't really... I, Lampard is 
he, he has to step up, he has to do something to avoid a mistake uh, that may lead him to leave the Premier League this season. So he has to step up his game because you can see uh, Everton have not been performing very well this season. But a lot, a lot of uh, you know, meetings Matches. that we have had today, and we talk about Everton, and you see that they have not been doing so well. And They'll be going into the sixth week. Yeah, and this is, and this is going into the sixth week. But uh, I, I know he's going to bounce back. I know he's going to put things in place. But uh, we, we just want to see any action of it on the way as we move. Because you know, from the couple of March after losing... Uh, Against Chelsea to now is is been is a very 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 awful for Everton and they have been losing taking a draw and that is not what we want to see from Everton and especially Lampard being the coach of uh, coaching Everton and uh, they they have amazing players they have beautiful people uh, amazing people that can score goals that can step up to win a match and that is I I, I would like to ask is there anything they, they can do differently except from Doing aside from you know deadline has ended, um, the mm -hmm. transfers have ended already. Yeah, of course. Is there anything they can do differently except from signing new players to January twenty twenty three? Yeah, they can do a, co a couple of things. They can they can change the uh, formation. They can change the tactics. They can bring in players, fresh legs that can they, they believe. They can train so hard that they will actually master. And know we will be the first eleven who can do. Shouldn't the they job have done? Then? Shouldn't they have done that? Same before the Premier League start already. Yeah, yeah, of course Most they think. should. But you know, uh, players, you, you don't really, you can't. Okay, for example, let's say someone uh, goes to, uh, you know, actually have an injury, and they have to be someone that will come in to do the stepping in for the person. So they have to be also serious of training, no matter how, you know, hard work they did, uh, work, how prepared they yeah, are. Yeah, they were in the preseason, but they have to be something that they have to keep on doing to, uh, you know, win, uh, win a couple of matches. To help them uh, stay in the Premier League this season, so uh, I think Lampard needs to uh, needs to do something. Needs to go back. Too much pressure on Lampard right now. Yeah, there's too much on him because he he have not been doing what he is expected of him, which is uh, motivating the team to win matches. So I uh, I hope and I believe and I wish I see something like that um, winning from Everton uh, in the match to come. I pray. I pray. The, I pray they win this match. That they're playing the next, in the next match. Yeah, yeah, next yeah. Match. I, I, I wish. I wish them luck, and I, I would love them to win. I wish know? them all the best. Yeah. Let's talk about Liverpool. Um, Liverpool major com Liverpool comeback now. Do you think they have gotten it right after w after winning with other um, Bournemouth, Liverpool, um, Manchester United, and others? Do you mm. think they are on the good path now? Uh, you know. I, I think after after the nine zero they they played two one yeah. two one with Newcastle. Yeah, I, I think I think after the nine zero and when they come in, uh, I think I think I think they found what they lacked and that is the motivation, that is the spirit. You know, if you if you actually uh, if you, you saw the match uh, they played against Bonomo, you see the match was amazing. They played very well. Um, was amazing. You know, you see. Uh, it, it was very 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 nice matches and I I love I love the way they play so uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I believe they have found what I've, I believe they have found it and and they have put that in place and uh, yeah you know Liverpool big club amazing club big coach big coach and amazing talents in Liverpool yeah so Liverpool for us yeah they, they, they are good to go yeah they're definitely gonna uh, move forward from here. I think they have fixed what this uh, the, uh, that was wrong, and yeah, they're moving forward. And I, I hope to see the Premier League become more competitive uh, this season. You know, yeah, that is what we're wishing for and what we would love to watch. Let's concentrate on transfers, late transfers that club did during um, this this past days. Mm -hmm. Anthony to Anthony from Ajax to Ajax to Manchester United. Abamayan from Barcelona to Chelsea, Dubravaga from Newcastle to Manchester United. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And basically, it's about 2 billion euro or pounds that was spent on transfers this window alone. Mm -hmm. What can you say about, let me ask you first about Abamayan from Barcelona to Chelsea. Do you think that's a very good signing? Do you, do you, do you see Abamayan doing very, very well as he has done in 
Barcelona. What can you say about it? Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, Ab Ab Abumaya is a very good player, and you know, coming into Chelsea, you know, Chelsea needed a number nine, and after Lukaku went for, uh, alone uh, to Inter Milan, so uh, they needed a number nine. They needed someone in the front scoring good for them, so that they can find a win to, uh, and move forward to compete against the top play, uh, top clubs. So. Uh, uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm not gonna say uh, it, it's not a bad signing or it's a good signing at this moment, you know. Uh, Since he has not, he's not played any match. Yeah, in and Chelsea. I'm, I'm, you know he's he's a he have already he have already spent his time in Premier League uh, in Arsenal, and if you watch what he played in Arsenal, he was he was giving his best, he was scoring goals, and so they sold him to uh, to Barca, you know Barcelona. So uh, so. Talking about the adaptation, I'm gonna have I'm not gonna have issue with that, but I'm I'm just trying uh, I'm I'm just trying to uh, say that I wish he he adapt to the club itself, not to the Premier League style because he knows how the Premier League was. And he has very been, talented player. Yeah, he has been in the Premier League before. He has played uh, with, uh, uh, on Arsenal as a, as a, as, a, as a player. So let's let's talk about adapting to the club. Uh, we he adapt to Chelsea style. We, we as a Chelsea fan, we see. A Abamayang will adapt to Chelsea fan, to uh, Chelsea club, um, to Chelsea style. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna say yes because uh, I, really, I think we really need a number nine and bringing him in uh, at a short notice. Is uh, Abamayang the best player for you as number nine? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm not gonna say yes, but I think, uh, I think he will do, he will do the work done. Uh, he will do the work done. Uh, With the likes of Ryan Sterling and Koulibaly. Yeah, uh, he's Uncle gonna, do, he, yeah, he's gonna do the work uh, done because I think he's, he he scores goals, you know. But uh, in the moment, I'm not gonna say he's the best now to 15. But I think at the moment, he's gonna do the, uh, the job done. So that's what I would say. I take off Abu Mayan coming in, and I'm, I'm wishing him luck. And I hope Chelsea move forward now and win matches so we can compete against uh, the top the top clubs. Yeah. What can you say about Vraga from Newcastle to, to Manchester United? Uh, to help the jail. No, I I I think I think uh, I think it's nice it's, it's a nice move for them. You know. Okay. They 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 need to add you know they need to have strength to the squad. In the squad. Yeah, and, and not using only the J alone. Yeah, uh, they need to have strength to the squad. Uh, he's not gonna uh, doing uh, the job himself. They need to have someone that will support him. As an IP and yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I, th I think it's, it's nice bringing in someone. You know, bringing in players is to strengthen the squad and to make the squad uh, to win matches and to you know not to draw back and to compete against uh, the, uh, the, the strong uh, clubs in, in the Premier League. So I, I, th I think it's a good move and I'm hoping to see him perform very well uh, in the season. And now that deadline has ended, we really hope that clubs made a good choice of signing and we really, make, we really wish them best of luck, actually. So that'll be all for today. That'll be all for today as we look forward to the big matches and other Premier, other leagues that are coming, the UEFA Champions League mm -hmm. and others. Yeah. I'm Abdullah Saladin and bye for now.